or short is about making your offer to a real estate agent. So you're interested in buying a property, you've done all of your feasibilities and your research, you're really excited and you want the thing. Two things, first of all, number one, your offer is going to be a little bit different if you're emotionally charged, if you're buying this property because you want it to be your forever home than if you're buying this property as an investment. So understand when you're making your offer, the feelings that you're having, if you're having any feelings around speaking to real estate agents, understand what's driving those feelings. It is much easier making an offer if you're an investor. It just feels different. Um, you're not so tied up in getting the one. So firstly, make sure that the agent knows that you're interested in the property. If an agent asks you questions, answer the questions. You don't have to reveal everything, but you've got to give the guys half a clue. If you show no interest and you don't reveal your hand at all, if an offer comes in and the real estate agent starts negotiating with other people, they're not going to include you. They're not going to ring you up and say, hey, I've just had an offer on that property if they think you're not interested at all. So let them know you're interested. Number two, know your price. Like you have to do the research and you have to know exactly what you should be paying. What's the perfect bargain price? somewhere where it sits and also the highest price you're prepared to go for that property if it's an emotional buy, if it's for your own house. If it's not your own house then it's an investor um, property, you might sit back at your low to um, mid-range offers. So, But it's up to you to know your price. They will tell you what they want you to hear. They will tell you what they want you to hear. So make sure you've done your own due diligence. Trust yourself and trust in your own intellect. Number three, look after your own interests. So make sure that when you're putting your offer forward, that you actually include subject to finance to give yourself some breathing space for your loan to be approved. You should have pre-approval, but make sure that your loan is going to be just absolutely fine, that you're going to get the money. And also pest and building inspection if you haven't had a chance to get that done. So look after your own interests. The power is actually in your hands. You know, you have to put, you have to take some power in, in this uh, negotiation. Otherwise you'll just get dragged along in the process. Understand you have some levers, number four, understand you have some levers to play with. You have terms versus price. Generally speaking, the higher your offer is, the more you'll be able to negotiate with some terms. So it's great to get both. You know, it just depends on the heat in the market. It depends on how quickly they want to sale. It depends on how open to listening a vendor is and the real estate agent is, but certainly ask for things, ask for your terms. So what type of terms? If you're a renovator, you're looking for things like a nice long settlement so you can get your things in order so you can get some tradies in. Um, that's the second thing you need to ask for is some access so you can get some tradies in to measure up so you can start to order product in advance. All of those things can be done before you've actually had to pay for the property if you've um, got all those terms agreed to by the vendor and the real estate agent at the point of purchase. So yeah, they're pretty great terms for us, real, us renovators. It uh, gives us an advantage to get in there and get some stuff done or at least measured up and ordered before settlement. And a long settlement allows you more time to do that. There are some circumstances where you can really get a head start. You know, you, you have to look at insurance and a few other things. Anyway, there's more details attached, but it's really good to get early um, access to a property and a long settlement. It is okay to have a general discussion with the real estate agents around price. Understand, though, that as soon as you start talking price to a real estate agent, they're going to use that as ammunition to go and rustle up interest from other potential buyers. If you start to talk about price and you are actually serious about making an offer, always put that in writing, like always put it in writing. Make sure that they have it in writing. Text message is great. Follow it up with an email. Text message is fine, but always follow with an email. Um, and the other thing is when you're starting to uh, put your ID down, your identity down, or you're mentioning your name, make sure that you're starting to talk or you make sure you let the real estate agent know the entity in which you want that property's 
the property registered in or um, purchased in. So I'm talking about stamp duty implications later on if you're trying to change the name on the contract. So make sure the name on the contract is correct, but give the real estate agent a head start by giving him those details up front right along with your first offer. Good luck, guys. Um, it's fun buying a property. It's so rewarding when you get one, when you get that deal. It's very, very exciting. If you get a great buy, it, you can make money. You know what they say, make money before you even start on a deal by putting in some really good solid offers and uh, getting the, those accepted and buying property, hopefully under market value. Cheers, guys.